Good morning from the beautiful Baghdad al Fa Palace uh, here in Baghdad, Iraq. I'm here with a few of my closest friends, and it's great to be able to share uh, this Thanksgiving Day with the great folks from Central Texas. <laughs> Sorry, Major Tomlin, uh -huh. and I'll be We like that, huh? Go ahead. You guys have... You guys have quite a showing there. Can you tell us, General, we know you're part of Operation Dawn now. Uh, the combat mission in Iraq is over. What's the current security situation like there? Well, the, the mission, uh, the combat mission for U.S. forces uh, is over. We're an advise, train, assist role. Uh, we're helping uh, build uh, governance and civil capacity and working with the counter-terrorist forces the Iraqis have. So the Iraqis continue the fight. The security situation's been pretty stable. As you know, it's been about eight months um, since the election, and, and we've had some pretty good movement in the last couple of weeks on getting the government seated. Uh, and since that's happened, uh, we've seen a decrease in violence to some extent. So it'll be a, a dangerous environment, but we think the Iraqis are headed in the right direction. And do you think the, the Iraqis are able to take over, and are they handling this security uh, better now that they've gotten some very good training from you guys? They are, but every day is, uh, is a new day, and we work with them uh, very hard. Their capabilities are improving. I think you'd find we have about 20% less violence this year than we did a year ago, uh, and that's with the Iraqis uh, handling uh, the security situation. We, we advise, coach, teach, and mentor, and in some very rare cases provide assistance to them when they need it on things that they don't have, like attack helicopters, etc. But by and large, the Iraqis uh, are maintaining this security situation uh, in pretty good uh, states such that uh, the people of Iraq can go about their business on a day-to-day -day basis. General, back to the holiday, what a lot of people here are thankful for is what you guys are doing over there. It's making this holiday possible. We understand some of your soldiers would like to say some things to their family in Central Texas here. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see. Anybody want to come forward and talk? Uh, they're, they're, they're a very strong and silent group here. <laughs> well, we got one big hooray from them. So if, if there's one general message you'd like to send out to families, uh, if you'd like to speak on their behalf here at home, what would you like to say to everybody? Yeah, I, we, are, we are incredibly thankful uh, to serve our nation and to come from a nation that has such great bounty uh, and such strength. And as long as America sends us sons and daughters like these, uh, we'll be in great shape. We have one message for the people of Central Texas. Happy Thanksgiving! All right. Four yes. good soldiers. General, we thank you very much. It's so good you. to talk to you. And once again, we want to say Godspeed. Happy Thanksgiving. We want you to stay safe over in Iraq. Thank yes. you very much. Happy the Thanksgiving Central to Texans you. Texans are skipping Thanksgiving and focusing on Black Friday still ahead. They are camping out.